Hi, good day. Uh, guys, I'm doing this quick walkthrough for becoming first responder. Someone asked me about it. It's not. It's an easy room, basically. First responder, of course, if the, the first line of uh, SOC level 1, so it's not a big deal room. The first one is per preservation, evi preservation of evidence when you start, of course, um, you have evidence, what evidence, significant amount of important evidence is found in volatile spaces, so you know, register and cache, routine table, app cache, process table, kernel, static and memory. This is when you have the forensic, so you need to have all this temper. Uh, this is a uh, internet engineering task force created document called guidelines for evidence collection archiving. So basically, this is the follow up. You have one register cache. Temporary file system, disk, remote login, monitoring, physical configuration, network topology, uh, archival media, the other two big don't. Don't trust the program and the system is of course. Don't run the program that modify the access time and times of files. Chain of custody is very important, like you can see it always in the movies. So what priority order the preservation number only is given to the disk? Disk is number 4, so you can see it's number 4 on the top. Then uh, what's the next question is, what priority order for preservation is given for archival media? Archival media number 7. Um, what priority order for pre preservation number is given for register and cache? Register, where is that register and cache? Number one, that's the first one you start with. Then, what term, what term is used to describe ensuring that evidence can be used in legal proceedings? Is, of course, chain of custody is always important, so it's, uh, it's clear forward. Then, uh, you have the incident play playbook, is what you follow. The blue team is usually seasoned to deal with incident and easily uh, ready to act. So start. Suspect email receive, for example, pass the value email. What the hell? It's moving alone. I didn't know this before. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Detail and call tree. Call tree is basically who to call. Usually, there are multiple ways that you can alert a team that that an incident occurred. A large organization. This process is usually fully automated. So basically, who's calling? Who? Who's that? Uh, responsibility of the first responder, I mentioned before, a senior engineer you may perhaps not be responsible for creating a playbook, it is a certain case even call tree. Okay guys, I'm trying to do all the rooms, so if anyone you can read about it. What is the term that describes a defined process that the blue team follow? Blue team will follow the playbook, so there's a clear forward this. And then what is the term that describes the structure used to inform all the relevant parties? The term to do is with the call tree, not call trees, but call tree, so we need to remove the S. And then which one is the importance of containment? Of course, uh, if uh, you isolate, if your machine was hacked or something, unplug it from network and things like that. Network segmentation is mean the host is isolated from the network perspective, physical isolation, virtual isolation, the most restricted from communication through use of EDR, so they be automatic things, send the threat actor back to the dial-up days, if a containment will alert the threat actor there is a question of whether to isolate the answer, also the most cases it will be there is a certain cases where we might want to take different approach, okay, you can read about this too, responsibility of the first responder, then, what is what containment method can be performed remotely by the EDR? Remotely by the EDR is this one, the virtual one, because now he's doing it. What containment require the blue team to collect the infected host? Uh, is a physical isolation. Uh, isolation aim to ensure perform the host evidence perceived. Then. What containment method aim to ensure that the infected host can't communicate? This is isolation. We need to do network segmentation here. So got someone who went, uh, thought, just do it quickly because he asked me twice about it. 
No, BCP, DRP, uh, the BCP is what they call a business continuity plan, and then what's the other one? DRP, the disaster recovery plan. You need to have business continuity plan after disaster happens, perform business impact analysis, define potential recovery plan to be split in track test, the BCP metric, recovery point objective, recovery, all of that. What does BCP stand for? BCP is business plan. What does DRP stand for? Is disaster recovery? Where is it? Where are you? DRP, this is the disaster recovery plan. And I really can't see the screen now. I'm a bit all day. What BCP metric is used to describe the amount of time required to recover the hardware of system? Hardware of system is this the RTO. What BC metric is used to describe the average amount of time required to recover our system? Average of time amount of time required to recover. Uh, how long is in between? How long it will take to recover our system? Yeah, this one. The next one is the importance of documentation, of course, documentation, time is very important, description, reason, you know, things like that, and the time should ideally be provided in standard format, uh, UC, uh, uh, UTC, lesson learned, and you can see the time is UTC, here the question, guys, you can read about it, I'm doing it quick, you see this, some people can get a bit uh, for this flag, it's straightforward, you follow these steps, look here. Uh, you start what preserve the evidence, and then what? Uh, raise the alarm. Then you isolate uh, isolate the incident. Then you do invoke the business continuity plan, and then document. Then you hand over, check result. Then we got the flag. So basically, it follow this one that you see here in the room. You said preservation, alert, isolation, business document, then handover. So they already gave it to you here in the room. So you just follow it, and you can read about it. And then, thank you guys. Let me see if I can cheat. Maybe try calc me is not watching. Ah, he's watching. Thank you very much. Uh, there was quick work too, but thank you very much.